Okay, here's a couple pieces I'm almost finished with. This one I actually left some of the inner bark on it. It's all black and brown. I've done that a couple of times. I think it looks pretty cool. This one I carved all the way out. This one's got some nice color to it. Um, basically what I do is I go... Hold on. I go uh, my first coat after 120 grit and then I let it dry for about a week. They say three days but I, I think three days is a little fast. Um, it, 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 takes, it takes about two months for me to finish a stick. And most people like varathane and stuff too because you can just slap it on and there it goes but I really like the looks of tongue oil. It, it just it slightly yellows it and through time all this all of this the darker color gets a deep red but in and, and, and the white stays a little yellowish so it, it doesn't lose a lot of color and um, it works really good in UV light um, if you actually leave this sit out in the sun all summer long it's 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 gonna be broke down but you know, generally it, it, it lasts a long, long time. It doesn't weather, it's extremely waterproof and and you just put a coat of wax over it after you're done and it makes a really nice look and finish. I, I really like it. I mean, I've tried it, all kinds of different stuff, but this is the stuff I like the most, so I keep using it. Um, yeah, real milk paint, pure tongue oil. That's what I use. I can't show you a bottle though, because I'm, I'm almost out of the stuff. Um, and basically, you know, I, I start out with 120 grit, and then I put a coat on, and then I go, I sand it down to 220 grit, I put a coat on, and then, and then I go to 320 grit, and I put a coat on, and then 400 grit, and I put a coat on, and then I, I get all the way down to, to a, a, a green scotch Brillo pad, and um, I just go over it real quick, and it, it, it really, it really takes the shine on it. Um, I do one maybe two coats of that so yeah it's a really long process and I, I wait about a week every time. Um, so yeah I just hit these with, with scotch pads and then, and then after I do like a coat or two of the scotch then I'll put like two coats without sanding or anything just regular two coats and um, basically I just I just put a little bit on here on a rag, just just a little bit like that, a few drips. Um, this is actually polyester. Um, I use what is this stuff? This this stuff is actually it's actually for drain pipe, corrugated pipe for outdoor stuff, and and I like it because it's polyester, and polyester doesn't soak up a lot of of your tongue oil. So it's just a really fine coat. A lot of people that tell you to use tongue oil too, they say you put it on and then you wipe it off. But that's just a waste. I mean, if the people are just wasting tongue oil. So I use polyester because it doesn't soak up in the cloth really good. And I don't use a lot because you don't really need a lot. And if you, if you put a thin coat on here, you don't need to wipe it back off. You just put a really fine coat on it, you know, just enough to give it a gloss look. And after it dries, the gloss goes away. Um, yeah, just really fine, you know, just just cover it just a just really fine. It doesn't it doesn't need to be a lot. And um, basically, every single coat you do too, you're you're getting it in in the wood more and more and more. And um, yeah, your first coat penetrates the most. Some some of these people try to tell you too to use like um, like um, that orange citrus solvent comes from oranges, and there's there's some other solvents you can mix with the stuff too because they say it gets in the in the wood more. But Personally, I think that's just another waste of tongue oil. You go through a lot of it. I mean, it just soaks the stuff right up. But I've, I've put put it on that way, and I've actually cut the wood open, and it, it doesn't get that much deeper. I mean, really, it, it, it really doesn't. So I think you're just wasting your money. 
doing it any other way than the way I'm doing it now. And um, like I say, this is this is a long process. A lot a lot of people won't do this just because everybody wants to be fast and they want to do everything right now. But um, yeah, when you do a job with tongue oil, you really I I think you get what you you, you get what you put into it because it really does make a nice finish. See, it's just, that's that's all the oil I use. Just, just probably like four drops on this this whole stick. And it's it's covered. It's completely covered right now. So I'll do that with this one. And, um, I mean, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just a little bit glossy. It's really quite shiny. So yeah, that, that gloss goes away. Um, they say this is a semi-gloss finish. And it, it kind of is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much one of the last steps I do to these. Okay, now for the final, the final step. Um, I could put a cane end on here too, but uh, that's pretty simple. You just carve out the bottom a little bit and throw a chunk of rubber on it. Sometimes I use a, an actual metal ferrule. It doesn't take rocket science to figure out how to do that stuff, so I'm not going to show you. Uh -huh. Anyways. This one is all dry. It's been drying for about a month now. It's got about seven coats of tongue oil on it. And, um, you know, it's not glossy at all. It's actually rather dull. And that's, that's supposedly their uh, semi-gloss finish that this stuff makes. Um, so what I'm going to do now... I got this stuff. No cleaners, just regular pure carnauba wax. There's nothing else in here but carnauba. Um, some people use furniture wax. Um, I use this stuff because, um, honestly, because I've had it forever and I used to use it on my cars a long time ago. And um, I don't need to waste money on anything else because this stuff is an excellent product. Um, so yeah, I had it, and um, I've never tried any other waxes, and I don't think I ever need to. And um, if this stuff ever wears down, which it hardly ever does, um, you just, you know, put another coat on it. If it starts to look a little dull, just put another coat on it. And yeah, I, I, I generally put through like three coats of this on. I'm not shy about it either. I'll put quite a bit on here. And, um, yeah, you just scrub it everywhere on everything. Don't be afraid to put too much of this on because you really can't. really good stuff. Just get it in everything. Nice and thick. After you get it on here, you know, nice and thick, you can let it dry. It just takes a couple of minutes just to kind of dry in there. And, um, yeah, I got two different rags. I, this one I keep in the tin all the time. I always use this one for applying it. And just make sure I get in all these little diamonds. This is a really pretty stick. It's the right diameter and everything. I really like this one too. I like them all though. I always say that I really like this stick every time I work on one. Yeah. 
This stuff smells really good too. I love the smell of carnauba wax. The tongue oil smells really nutty too. Actually, you know, I put that stuff on. I usually always apply tongue oil in my kitchen and it smells good. I mean, it's not toxic. It's, it's food safe. All of this stuff is food safe. So it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's not bad. But yeah, I put it on. And um, it's pretty much dry. And you just buff it off. And this is the cool part. After the first coat, you really don't notice much. It gets a little shiny. After your second coat, though, this really, usually really stands out. See, it's just starting to shine now. Starting to looks really nice just like that. Yeah, I'll slather on another coat. There's coat number two. Yeah, it's nice to rub it really fast too because you get the you get the wax really warm. I mean, it melts. It melts really good. Yeah, there, and now it's starting to take on a nice shine. I really like that. It feels smooth as silk too. It's just smooth. And it's not it's not it's not a kind of slick smooth either. It's it's a little bit sticky because the wax is it's got a little sticky feel to it. I really like it. Sometimes I wrap these too, I'll put like a leather handle on it or something, but most of these I leave plain. I give them away to people. I really, I think I've only sold one in my entire life. And, uh, yeah, usually I, I, I wait till somebody wants one, or if I want to give them one, and I figure out where, where their hand position is and everything, so I know, I know where to put the handle. And, um, I usually don't put a bottom on it until, until last either, because, well, like I say, sometimes I do brass ferrules, sometimes I do rubber, sometimes I wrap them in leather. It, it just all, it, it depends on a lot, of, a lot of different things. There's a lot of different ways you can do this stuff. Yeah, I think wax is great too because you know when when you when you buy a stick that's been varathaned or or anything like that, and you take it home and you wear a spot in it, or it just gets old and weathered, you know, there's there's really nothing you can do except put another coat of varathane on it. But this, yeah, just furniture wax. Everybody's got furniture wax laying around usually, or carnauba wax. You know, you just put a coat of wax on it, and you're you're golden. I mean, if you, even even if you get even if you get down to the wood in the in the, the tongue oil, it gets pretty deep. But even if you get down to the wood, you can just put a coat of wax right over it, and and you're you're protecting the wood just from the wax. And they will get scratched and beat up, you know, unless you never use them. All right. Here. And there it is. See, it's it's just got a really nice, nice, nice shine to it now. It's kind of too light out. Yeah. See. It's perfect. I think it's perfect. 
and that's about that's about as red as it's going to get too. It does it it doesn't change any more color than that. You you put other stuff on it like varnishes and varathanes, and um, they lose the color. A, a lot of these diamonds will get black on you. This won't do that. So there it is. Ta-da. Hope you like my video. Hey, like it because I don't have any friends and um, subscribe because I, I want a cult group. Ha ha ha. Okay, yeah, bye.